Hi lovelies and welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Belinda Strana. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. And to my returning subscribers, to those people that share my videos, leave commentaries and also educate each and every one of us. You guys are the real MVP. All right, lovelies, let's dive in. So, lovelies, I came across this video by For You page on TikTok, and I thought to share with you guys where internet is actually reacting to the fact that black people in general decided to come out to do what they call Black Project 20 2025. For a lot of people reacting, and I was able to put up some of those stitches. I'm just going to roll it. Please leave me your thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for educational and informative purposes. All right, lovely. Black Project it. 2025. Yeah, you heard that right. And no, it's not that section in Trump's Project 2025 that Ben Carson wrote. Black Project 2025 is the brainchild of a 22-year-old entrepreneur by the name of Anaya Holloway. Here are three things you should know about Black Project 2025 and where Anaya actually sees this going. Number one, Anaya took to TikTok to share this idea of a Black Project 2025 right after the presidential election results came in with this idea that Black people will come together to create an agenda that supports the Black community specifically. Her vision includes opening up more Black-owned grocery stores, banks, doctors, doctor's offices, law firms, and a number of other businesses, which I hope doesn't include another brunch spot in Atlanta with hookah and a grass wall. You know I love Atlanta. But all of these initiatives, all of these businesses will be funded by the black dollar. She says the staff that would help these initiatives move forward would include a CEO, a CMO, and a COO with additional positions that are in the tech industry that would help run the platform. The leaders of this group would then host bi-weekly meetings with contributors and with community members about the progress that they're making with these initiatives. But the big question is, how do people feel about this? This leads me to number two. <laughs> they don't like it. I'm kidding. The day after she made the announcement, which is just three or four days ago, over 1,500 people signed up. There's now over 25,000 people signed up to join the group, which leads me to number three. But Naya has been very open that this was just an idea that she wanted to bring to social media and it has materialized into something bigger than she could have ever imagined. So much so, it has moved to a Google form because... The amount of people that signed up crashed the platform she was on. What do you think about a Black Project 2025? Do you think it's needed? And will you support it? What if we had a Black Project 2025? Hear me out. I know it sounds crazy, but this is my vision. What if all of us were to get into a group? Okay, I'm talking doctors, lawyers, engineers. There are so many of us that are so talented. And we were to work together with our own Black agenda for 2025. I'm talking opening up Black-owned grocery stores in certain cities, Black-owned banks, so that way we can actually get our home loans and do what we need to do, our own doctor's offices, our own law practices. And we really were to just congregate and push towards our goals and our outcomes, right? And so this is how I envision it going. We can all get into this group. We can all donate what we have to donate on a monthly basis. And then basically we can have a CEO, we can have a CMO, and we can have a CFO that's in charge of leading the groups with the initiatives, right? We could have bi-weekly, monthly calls in regards to where we stand with our goals. So, okay, guys, we want a Black-owned grocery store in Los Angeles built and developed, uh, you know, August 2025. This is where we stand. This is how much we have funded. This is what's needed. This is where we are in the process. And we just go from there. And so we can can just kind of congregate and then on top of that in this group we could also just have a massive directory of black owned businesses so that means that everyone that joins this group swears off of purchasing from these large corporations i'm talking black owned coffee brands clothing everything you guys can think of toiletries like down to everything like body washes everything we use and consume on a daily basis it is no longer purchased from these large corporations it is purchased from one another and i think that we can create so much wealth amongst ourselves just by strictly swearing off of supporting large corporations and only supporting one another and also congregating to create our own agenda now i know that there have been people who have tried to do this before in the past and i know that we struggle as a community to trust one another i don't really care about all that right now i just personally feel like if we would if we are able to put our pride aside 
and get it done i feel like it could be one of the most impactful things done in black history like maybe there is a silver lining in kamala not being able to get into office because as a community we just become that much more tight-knit do you get where i'm coming from i i don't know i know it sounds crazy but i just feel like this is something that we should do and i feel like it i just i feel very strongly about the ability for us to transform our community and the perception of you know african-american individuals if we were to really finally come together created the group for the black project 2025 and i totally hear you we do need our own platform so this is what i need from you guys i'm gonna need an attorney i'm gonna need a front-end developer a back-end developer a database developer and a ui ux designer so we can actually create our own platform where we can have our meetings and all of our chat forms and everything like that for those of you guys who are not familiar with what the black project 2025 is or you know obviously this name is subject to change I think that we need to create a community amongst all of us in the black community and our lawyers, our doctors, our engineers, our software engineers, we all need to come together and create and support our own agendas that are going to help further the black community. So that being said, we're going to have a directory full of black owned businesses and we are committing to only purchasing from black owned businesses so that way we can keep the money inside of our community. If we decide that, okay, we want a black owned bank in Los Angeles, our CEO, our CFO, our CMO, they are going to be in charge of putting together the plans and basically we're going to all donate what we can to the group on a monthly basis so that way we can push our own agendas and further ourselves as a community and kind of keep everything a little bit more tight in it um obviously there'll be more details about it i posted another video that goes a little bit further in depth but yes the group is built the link is in my bio and i can't wait to see you guys in there the Black Project 2025 group is at 4,700 members when earlier this morning it was at 1,500 and I want to clarify a few things. First and foremost, platform, heartbeat. I hear you guys' feedback. We need our own app. We need our own stuff. 110%. Heartbeat is a great platform and it has a lot of capabilities that we're not currently leveraging, which is by design because I'm in the process of establishing the infrastructure for us to be able to leverage it in a resourceful way. But because I don't see anything out there that is comparable to Heartbeat that is black owned, that lets me know that we are going to have to build our own. Right. And so I do want to set realistic expectations with you guys in regards to timelines, because we're actually going to have to hire recruiters that are then going to have to vet developers. And it's not going to be something that happens overnight. But then again, Rome was not built overnight. I do not want to rush this. I would rather take our time and do it right the first time. Next thing, the name of the movement, Black Project 2025. As someone that has gone viral on numerous occasions, there is one thing that I have learned. You capitalize on the virality as quickly as possible, okay? That being said, Black Project 2025 is what's going viral and that's what we're going to refer to it as. Now, in the future, when the groundwork is laid, 110%, the name is subject to change. I actually would like the name to reflect something that's a little bit more positive and breathes a little bit more life into the community. But for right now, we have to ride the wave to get where we need to go. Another thing, awareness. People are saying, move in silence, take it off the internet, this, that, and the third. I totally hear you guys, but I do want you guys to understand this. We are going to need to hire people, to build a team, to get the things done that we want to get done. Hiring requires funding. Funding requires awareness. So in theory, I know it sounds great. Oh, get it off the internet. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if people don't know it exists and what we're trying to do, and we don't have that awareness, we're not going to have the funding and we're not going to be able to make the waves that we're looking to make. So we're kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place here. Okay. So sit tight until Tuesday on the Zoom meeting. I'm going to go over all of the roles that I want us to create, the amount of funding that's going to be required for us to get it done, timelines, all that great stuff. But for right now, I need you guys to sit tight. I hear you guys. I see your feedback. I see your comments. I just need you guys to sit tight for me, okay? Um, but thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. The group is at 4,700 people and we only had 1,500 this morning. So this is absolutely insane. Only, apparently only 200 people showed up to their women's march, according to the New York Times. However, within one week, Black Project 2025 has 52,000 members and has just raised over $20,000. This has never been a greater time to have the best organizers on one team for one cause. This has never been, there has never been a better time to have everybody on the same cause because when I tell you, black women know how to organize and put stuff together within a short time and on limited resources, and with no help and no support, that is what I am 
so happy to be a part of. I signed up for Black Project 2025 the first day I seen it. it it's, it's moved platforms, but I've, I've signed up as soon as I could because I was like, yes, we're resting, but there are people who are doing the work and who know exactly what needs to be done. And I love it, honestly. I've been hearing <laughs> so many things about people trying to figure out if they can change their vote and all this and all that, girl, please. I don't have time. Now, am I doing this right, y'all, with the two ponytails for working out? I think the I think the scarf don't need to be tied up like a like I'm going. Hold the fucking phone. And yes, I'm freaking the fuck out because finally, black people. We're coming together. Project Black, Black Project 2025, I'm fucking up. But that's how excited I am. Look it up. Black Project 2025 organization is coming. It is on the way. No scams, no bullshit. Black people getting organized. I don't know why the f 2024, but it's happening. Get down with the cause, let's go. Black Project 2025, y'all are showing out. So we recorded a couple of episodes of the podcast today and we brought up Black Project 2025. And what made us bring it up after we had our vent and rage session about everything that has transpired in the last week was that professional development that I had to sit in last Saturday. Y'all remember me telling y'all about that. But without saying too much, I remember being in the professional development last Saturday and sending a group text to some of my black colleagues that if nothing else has motivated me to push all of us to get off our asses and get something going while we're doing our own professional development, sitting here this Saturday has definitely done it. And I don't know if it was me being furious at the fact that mediocrity keeps getting put above qualifications and, and experience and, and knowledge, actual knowledge, or the fact that I was sitting in front of mediocrity that was getting paid to teach me while I was not getting paid to sit there. I ain't like it. Anyway, we go into more details about that on the podcast. But this Black Project 2025 thing is so inspirational to so many black women, y'all. I really hope that everybody continues putting their businesses out there, putting their endeavors out there, putting out ways that we can educate others, putting out ways that we can just be our own village. And I know it's gonna be some negativity about, oh, y'all can't come together to do nothing. Oh, black women can't do that. I don't know, I just feel so good about this. I don't know, I just, I just want it to be great. I want it to be all the things that it's supposed to be. Anyway, tonight we're gonna rage and vent on Teachers After Dark. And if you wanna keep it cutesy, we'll be on the regular podcast doing the, the G-rated version of the raging podcast. Happy Sunday. Black Project. The Black Project 2025. Let's talk about it. I think it's a great idea. Um, it reminds me a lot of some similar things that we tried to do uh, beforehand, before this particular thing started. I think we learned a lot from other people who have tried to start something like this. I think we have momentum on our side. I think we have excitement on our side. We definitely have engagement on our side. And I think most importantly, um, black Americans were in a position of hurt, feeling betrayed, not knowing who to trust, and we turn to each other. And I think something great is gonna come out of this. In order to join the Black Project 2025, go to Anaya's page and in her bio, Everything is there, what you need to do. Follow the Black Project on IG in the bio. It's right there, what you need to do. Has anyone else heard of or signed up for Black Project 2025? I literally just signed up this morning and I am so excited and cannot wait um, to be let in. I know that it's, she's already got an overwhelming amount of people who have signed up and has continued to sign up. So I know there's a little bit of a wait, so just be patient, but I am so excited. And I just feel like if there's one positive thing that came out of this whole election is that our community collectively coming together. It's like we saw those results and it's like bet we gonna sit the next four years out and focus on ourselves focus on our own communities and y'all can do the rest and i really do feel like this time around it's going to be different like i'm already seeing so many great things that come out of this whole black project 2025 like we are resilient we're amazing like if you just think about the stuff that we can do like sky is the limit actually there is no limit. There's no ceiling. Um, if you think about all the things that people from our community have done, historically created, invented, starting things, we can do that. Black excellence is everything. Um, so I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, I did not 
get on the zoom last night or whatever i missed it so is there anyone who was on there can you tell me about it how was it what did you take from it um i'm kind of curious when the next one would be so somebody please let me know um, like I was saying, since I'm waiting to be um, officially let into the site, please someone let me know when is the next Zoom so I can hop on and at least get some information and insight from there while I wait. The whole purpose of Black Project 2025 is for our dollars to recycle and go back into our community so we, the people, could have it for what we need it for. All right. Let, like scholarships, playgrounds for the kids. Um, bringing new things to the town for our kids, you know, all kind of new stuff, right? So a lot of people been questioning, okay, I'm a nurse. I don't have much benefit to this. Or, you know, I'm a policeman. I don't have much benefit to this. Yes, you do. We need you. Because even if it's not a certain talent or gift that you can contribute to Black Project 2025, we still need you because a town still need a doctor's office. A town still need a dentist's office. A town still need a police department. A town still need a fire department. So it don't matter what type of field of work that you're in, we still need you. Now the game plan is, let me put y'all on game. The game plan is being that you have that experience, you have the education from working for the other folks now the game plan is we need for you to think big and want you should want to go into your own practice you should want to start your own business with that same experience that same education that you've been gaining over the years for working for someone else all right that's the secret sauce okay that's how you don't become complacent and that's how you start to have more control of your life your family life than the people life around you all right once you start to hire people to work for you you will have more control of what type of life your employees will live all right and then once you start to become the only doctor's office in a black town a, prom a predominant black town you will start to have an overflow you will start to be very much more successful to where you will start to be able to give back to the community you will start to be able to do giveaways freely because you have so much of an overflow all right okay so we need all y'all everybody the whole purpose of black project 2020 Bye. So right now, Black Project 2025 blowing up. Four days ago was small. It was, I don't know, but 40,000 members later, probably still growing. I don't know. But a shift you want to be a part of started and mentioned to the world by Anaya, just 22 years old. This girl's going to do phenomenal things, but she's cultivating something that we needed back but we need to complete this and we need everyone on board to do it. It's going to be phenomenal things. You don't need a business. You just need to bring your brain, a pen, a pencil. You just need to understand that if you want to be a part of something greater, this is it right here. And it is it is skyrocketing. So, you know, be there going live p um live at 9 p.m <clears throat> tonight excuse me um if you need any info you can inbox me i have the link um if you want to sign up for it i have the link let me know don't don't piss me off and i may or may not have failed to mention i didn't mention it that um there's a waiting list we were on uh app originally but it just grew so big that the app started to glitch and so no right now i know that they're uh working on giving us the bigger platform but i'll tag her so that you guys can follow her because she is like rapid firing all of the updates any updates that we need um but yeah be there be square <laughs> so hi guys how are you so I'm having a great day today. I feel much better than I did the past couple of days. And I have to, you know, give credit where credit is due. It is all thanks to the black community. Like, Project, Black Project 2025 has really like renewed my hope. To see how many people here at my job know about it and has signed up like, it did my heart so good like I'm just overjoyed and I'm excited for the future this just 
it just renewed my faith in my people. Like, I always had faith, but I was sad. I hope you guys have a good day, too. Deuces. Um, I just wanted to say that with, with the movement of us all coming together, it has inspired me to get off my ass <laughs> and finally put, I guess, finally act on something that I've been putting off for a couple years now. Um, back in 2021, I started my own photography business. I did have gigs. I had everything. Like I had my own website, my own logo, all that stuff. Everything was going great, but it was just such a busy time and everything became so overwhelming. So I put that on hold and I just shut it down altogether with intention to get back to it eventually and rebrand. I think what happened was when I started it, I kind of just dibbled and dabbled in a little bit of everything with photography and didn't really have like direction on what specifically within the photography, I guess, realm, so to speak, um, that I wanted to do. And I kind of overwhelmed myself. And then also I was getting a little discouraged because I didn't feel like I was getting the support from my family and friends that I felt I should have been getting. And that's where I messed up. I have learned during the course of starting that business and up until now, like over time, that your friends and family are not your supporters. Your supporters are people who don't even know you. And I have I have been inspired by all of my lovely 92 percenters to get back on my journey with my photography business. I've been saying I'm gonna rebrand, rebrand. It's 2024, it's been um, it's been two years since I stopped. I think my last gig was in 2022. So yeah, it's been two years that I've been putting off rebranding and actually acting on it. And I've kind of just been like, oh, well, I need to wait until I have this money or wait until I have this. I'm not waiting anymore. And what really inspired me on top of us moving together as a collective, um, you all may have seen the video I reposted about Black Project 2025. That right there is... Uh, Oh my God, amazing, amazing. And I, I can't wait to be a part of that. I really, I'm excited for all of us. I'm excited that this is happening. It's revolutionary, it really is. We're making a change and for the better of our people. And it's, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, but you all have inspired me to stop putting off something that is near and dear to me and means a lot to me and to actually act on it. And I'm gonna do that because you guys have y'all have my back and I got y'all back we all we got so y'all have a happy Sunday I love you all ladies stay black <laughs> stay proud and most of all just keep going keep going ain't nothing gonna get us down we're resilient we're powerful we're strong we have our moments where we can you know let ourselves sit and be sad for a moment and have our time to shed tears but when the tears are shed we are getting up and we're getting back to business fall down one we get up ten okay all right have a good day y'all like seriously lovelies as we all know with the outcome of the election and the way at which other people will i say poc and some pan colored people have shown that okay people that look like me cannot you know become an ally with them like they actually showed it with this concluded election and all of that we all remember the way at which everybody you know came out people were like oh my god let's do this let's see if maybe kamala is going to fix everything like black people were all there you know trying to get, make people understand why they need to vote for her you know a lot of people came with different reasons why you feel that okay they don't want to do this and after all says and done the election was conducted and a lot of people are not pleased with the outcome of the election and this is when black people actually realize that oh okay we have been told oh, is there any time that you know people that look like me we keep on telling some people especially pan colored people that this is not right this is just going to affect everyone they think to like think okay um you are just telling us this because of your benefit like you want us to do something that will benefit you a lot of pine color people you know often don't want to do something because they feel that when they actually listen to black people and uh, do as they say it might actually eventually benefit black people and this is exactly what happened 
in this election and every other person is regretting it like there are a lot of regrets out there people were like oh how can i change my vote how can i do this how can i like seriously a lot of people even go as far as trying to understand what the tariff is all about like is it that these people do like they didn't actually get to understand what tariff is all about and what the obama you know case all of, like a lot of people are just coming out trying to get information that they are supposed to get before the concluded election that this is what they call medicine after this person is already collapsed like you didn't find all of this information since it's all because um people are beginning to tell you like you you really you you really oh my goodness and the thing is that a lot of people that lose like me got it up to here so many black men were like they are in their sisterhood era like they just want to take care of themselves protect themselves because it's it's actually you know laughable like that constantly these people will keep on telling you something repeatedly but you just go ahead to do this then after you must have done whatsoever that you feel is right then you are going to come back and like oh my god we could have listened to you. like seriously you could have listened to who when they were busy telling you like no this is is, is a safe uh, people that look like me has a false sight like they have this thought eye. that's what it does this thought eye i came across in uh, the course of this research and uh historical for that's one inner eyes as if they see the future like they can actually predict the future but some of these people are because they, they are all consumed and concentrated on the ray and seas and you know trying to make everything all about themselves they don't want to listen they don't want to see it is after when everything is said and done and dusted that is when you see a lot of come a lot of them coming out on a platform to cry out like seriously to cry out but this is something that you you were you were told before you know you decided to do whatever you feel that is right so this is why you know black people were like okay they are done they just want to do something they just want to do something on their own like i am so happy to the fact that this project okay black project 2025 is a thing like for once it's a thing and i was like wow it is actually this media of a girl that you know came out for the first time to talk about it because of the outcome of the elections she was like okay why not maybe black people do something that will just enable them to create their own generational wealth or to do something that will just you know allow the black dollar to circulate within the black community because you will not keep on trying to make people understand why your own perspective is better and it's going to you know benefit everybody but they keep on disappointing you at the end of the day you will think that you and this person you guys are allies like oh he she or he understood what you're talking about then at the end of the day they just do whatever they feel that is better off in their own community like seriously especially people's like i am so shocked to the fact that you know let me just take a for instance this latino vote that went so up the same people that you know people that look like me often come out to fight for often come out to talk about the immigration because they are always the one that have this issue with undocumented or being documented like sorry to say but i i think that they have that that, that numbers but they are the same people that has the highest vote and now one rodrigo angel is all out on the social platform crying out after he was all out before the election you know given the reason why you need to vote for tp he was all out i used to you know follow him on social platform he he get reasons why you need to do that you have to vote for Raga. you have to do it. then after the election now he's all out crying about his encounter with with a neighbor with a ray and sis neighbor that instructed him why he pew pewed up there and told him to take all of his family back to where he's coming from because he is not needed here but this is the same person that has been campaigning for people like that or will i even talk about the brother that came out and he was crying oh my god oh my sweet mother oh somebody was like you are just a vote you're just a number like you can never be accepted in our circle like what 
make you think that you are going to be accepted in a shared circle you think that because you voted that means you you are automatically immune to be in a particular you know in a particular circle that you are never wanted like i think that this project is a very good idea i think like it's even overdue you know sometimes when i when i put on stitches here and the way at which some of these companies or some of these industries especially the beauty ones don't want to include people that looks like me i often even you know say in my commentaries that if you have any form of businesses you could just maybe email me or send me a link or so i could just put it on my description seriously because enough of most of these you know companies if it's not euphoria it is even network like so many of them discriminating when you cry that oh our shade like the, sh the black shade and all of that is not included and the makeup and all of that go ahead to bring a black paint for you to paint your face because it's a if you guys are disturbing them seriously so i think that this project <laughs> is going to create room like i just wish i hope that it's it comes to a success but the way at which people are signing it's giving me these positive vibes like this might actually turn out to be successful like at least with this all of the you know black owned businesses you know you want to shop you want to do anything that, like beauty product like everything you ever need like everyone is included nurses doctors everybody's included i saw a video one time i think i started i stitched that video she's actually a black nurse a obstetrician or you know she was she's a uh, you know reaching out to black female pregnant like um black pregnant moms that if you want a black um you know female doctor to attend to you or, you know as she described her location you could just reach her out like this is exactly the positive vibes that people that look like me you know and the thing is that i'm so like i'm so happy i'm, I'm really happy right like seriously love this when i saw this pop up on my for you page of, uh, on tiktok i was like what what was keeping this what was actually keeping that i realized that there is one thing about black people like they keep giving you the chances to see if you can still understand like if you can understand from your own perspective you can if you can understand that anything that they are doing they are absolutely do not doing it for themselves they are doing it for the betterment of every other person this is exactly what some poc people do not understand like this project is like it's just for the first time i'm seeing that people that looks like me are doing something for their own benefit they have never done something like this they are always all out to help people to do to do to do things that that will benefit people to do things that 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 will get everyone together and all of that but at the end of the day it's all about disappointment about disappointment so seeing this project right now oh my god I'm so super excited and when I saw it pop up on my for you page I decided to put it up here I'll try as much as I can to get the links for the petitions you know just I when I, I just saw this and I just want to just put it up here to let you guys know that there is something up something is really up people that looks like me is cooking something and I pray that when it's finally done a well prepared well garnished is something that is going to benefit everyone because you know like enough of always fighting for someone always there for people and nobody the time when you need these people to support you they are not there to support and it's so it's so discouraging seriously anyway lovelies why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment we are just here for educational and informative purposes and please lovelies when you're leaving a comment please just be uh, just use an abbreviation you know sometimes when you put some types of comment it's actually not you know so leave your thought in the comment section subscribe to this channel if you're here to do that and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one up to this extent thank you so much for all the love and support why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video please 
Do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment, which is here to educate and you know inform ourselves. Alright, lovelies, please share this video, subscribe, and I will see you lovelies when I upload the next one.